Coming up on Mountain News this morning, people across the Commonwealth celebrate Easter during the weekend, and several organizations come together to teach people from several states all about buzzing bees. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, 634 here on Mountain News this morning. It's Monday, so I feel like the weekend has just flown by. And speaking of flying by, well, Brandon, I was going to say speaking of flying by is the rain, but it, it's not flying by anytime soon. So. It is moving through. It, yeah, it's moving slowly. That, that is what I wanted to say, moving yeah. through. It's, it's moving, moving through, through, but it's moving through slowly yep. this morning. So some folks still getting soaked, others drying out just a little bit, at least for now. Let's take a look at live pinpoint Doppler radar, and you see the heavier bands of rain racing east, but it's still out all the way to I-75. I think we'll see a little bit more fill in there in the next little bit. So if you're out toward I-75, you're dry right now, but visibility is becoming a big issue across the central parts of the area. If you're less than five miles on this map, that includes Moorhead, Ashland, Jackson, Hazard, Harlan, and that's it for right now. You're seeing some limited visibilities out there as the heavy rain continues to fall and some fog forming out there as well. Looking at temperatures basically in the 40s up to the north and 50s in the south this morning. There, big contrast with the winds blowing in two different directions this morning, depending on where you are. So scattered chances later this afternoon, 52 if we're lucky. I think most of us stay in the upper 40s, 35 to 9, and chances for rain will end early as the skies try to clear out toward the overnight hours. Dakota? All right, Brennan, thank you. Many Kentuckians celebrated Easter during the weekend by hunting eggs, including over at the state capitol. Governor Andy Bashir hosted an egg hunt on the capitol lawn. As Samantha Valentina shows us, folks were excited to get outside and celebrate. It was a day of music, food, Easter eggs, and chocolate as people gathered to celebrate Easter at the Capitol on Saturday. We came to see the tulips and um, just happened up on these festivities here on the Capitol lawn and it's just great to see people out enjoying themselves. There was one thing everyone was hoping to find during the egg hunt, a golden egg. When I saw the golden egg, I just standed right next to it. I didn't even go into the line and then once I heard the bell, that was the first egg I picked up. Whether they found a golden egg or not, many called the event one of the best times ever. Two years ago, at the start of the pandemic, Easter was the first big holiday that people were unable to celebrate with their loved ones. Governor Andy Bashir says this is part of what makes this event so special. But just to be able to talk to people, meet their kids, learn about what their families are, are going through, give people a hug after everything we've been through together, thank them. We have somebody uh, that was here from uh, Harrison Memorial, the first hospital to treat a COVID patient. So just a chance to say thank you. In Frankfurt, Samantha Valentino, WKYT. This was Governor Bashir's first time hosting an Easter egg hunt in the capital. People across the nation and here in the Commonwealth celebrated Easter during the weekend. A group of Pike County businesses took part in the festivities. Around 20 businesses along with the Pikeville Main Street program held a hop in Easter egg hunt with prizes and plenty of candy for kids. Along with Easter celebrations, businesses were also excited about the reopening of 2nd Street after the completion of its streetscape makeover project. We know that going forward, the beautification that's going to come from this streetscape is going to enhance their business even more because all the events, the fundraisers, and the gathering of people downtown is pretty much going to occur here. So Main Street always works to make sure that we're bringing business to the people uh, that has the small businesses. Many of the businesses, as well as the Main Street program, are hoping to have more family-friendly events as well and say the project not only made the street more beautiful, but much safer for people to walk there as well. Well, it's common for children to find candy inside of eggs during Easter, but at One Wolf County Egg Hunt, kids had the chance to find something worth more than just sweets. Nearly 1,200 kids from across the region and beyond came out for the Hazel Green Volunteer Fire Department Easter Egg Hunt where they had the chance to hunt more than 15,000 eggs, with a few of those eggs granting them the chance to win prizes and bikes. We always like try to show them with the turnout gear and everything, so if something does happen, the kids will not be afraid to see a firefighter if something happens, if their house catches on fire or whatever. So we try to make them so familiar with us that they can come to us for help. So that's what, one of the reasons why we started putting this Easter egg hunt together. 
Event organizers, this, this year's event was even more exciting than those of the past, given that this is the first Easter egg hunt the fire department has held since the pan since before the pandemic. Beekeepers from across the state and from surrounding states gathered during the weekend for the Southeastern Kentucky Beekeeping School over in Whitley County. Several organizations came together to host this event where new and veteran beekeepers were schooled on bee biology, how to keep their bees healthy and the do's and don'ts of keeping. Attendees also had the chance to take part in a silent auction and were given the opportunity to win a calling of buzzing bees. You can get your own joy when you're, if you garden or flowers, anything, uh, your fruit trees, I mean, everything depends on being pollinated. And you can just go out in your own yard and see the, the joy of it and see stuff come alive. This event was held at the Whitley County Extension Office where beekeeping association meetings are hosted every month. Officers with the Kentucky Sheriff's Office had an unusual altercation. Jokingly, the McCracken County Sheriff's Office said it may file a criminal mischief charge on Tom Turkey. I don't know why this is so funny to me. The Sheriff's Office said in a Facebook post, a wild turkey attacked its canine unit on Friday and also posted a brief video of the incident. The turkey might want to watch out though. Opening day of spring turkey season in Kentucky was this past Saturday. Kings Island Park opened this past weekend for its 50th anniversary season. The amusement park has a special event lined up for the 2022 season, which includes a birthday party on April 29th to commemorate 50 years in business. The summer long golden celebration begins Memorial Day weekend. Hard to believe that Kings Island's been in business for 50 years. Seems like just yesterday it opened. All right, the time now is 640. We're looking at the rain on the satellite radar loop for the last few hours. And it's been coming down heavy in some spots all night long. It's been coming down heavy in the eastern counties there for a little while this morning. Getting a little bit of a break in the western counties right now, but more coming in from the south. So we'll see that fill back in here before too long. Temperatures in the north, low 40s. Moorhead, Lexington, mid 40s there. Jackson at 44, 45. London and Hazard, 48 now in Pikeville, 48 Pine Mountain, 49 in Harlan, 46 in Williamsburg, 52 the warm spot over into Jonesville. But you can see we've went up from 40 48 to 50 in the last couple of hours there in Clintwood. So the temperatures going up in some locations thanks to that warmer air coming in from the south and west. Breakfast forecast, expect rain chances as we stabilize basically in the mid 40s for most folks heading into the morning hours. That trend will continue for a little while, especially under those cloudy skies with those rain chances continuing. Dakota. All right, Brendan, thank you so much. It's 641 here. Still to come on Mountain News this morning. The FDA cracks down on bait products that are marketed using less than legal means. Stay with us.